Good morning, everyone. It's me, Thomas, and we are about to travel the entire Pacific Coast Highway in California. <laughs> So we are going to travel the entire Pacific Coast Highway in California. We're going to start in Southern California and work our way up to Crescent City on the California-Oregon border and work our way down. So on the first day, I'm going to head over to the city of Manteca and I'm going to pay a couple of friends a surprise visit. So here we are in Manteca. And I came by to say hi to my friends, and they told me, do not show our faces because we're not wearing any makeup. So that's, so that's why the smiley faces. Next, I'm going to head over to Santa Rosa, where we're going to visit the Charlie Brown Museum. But first, I'm going to make a stop in the city, Rio Vista, because it was just an absolutely beautiful city. And then here I am at the Charlie Brown Museum in Santa Rosa, California. And then I'm going to head over to Leightonville, where I'm going to call it a night and book a hotel and get my rest ready for the next morning when I will head to Crescent City. So this morning, I will be heading to Crescent City. I will be going straight over there from Leightonville. And that's when our journey will begin. So here I am in the city of Crescent City on the California-Oregon border. And my first stop is Ocean World, which is the aquarium. And here they let you pet the sharks. So here comes a tiger shark, and I'm about to pet it right here. It's slimy. And we also got to see a uh, seal do some tricks. And then next, I headed over to the Battery Point Lighthouse to go on a lighthouse tour. And it is a real actual working lighthouse and here is the lighthouse keeper's quarters. Next, I'm gonna head down to the city of Klamath, traveling the Redwood Highway to see the Trees of Mystery. And there's a giant Paul Bunyan and Babe there. So this place was very exciting, my, probably my second favorite place on the trip. We get across a lot of bridges to the tree houses. And here comes my attempt at crossing the bridge and it's a lot harder than it looks. That thing is really wobbly. You have the fear the whole time that the bridge is gonna snap on you. But luckily I made it. And they also have their very own aerial tram. So here I am inside the tram, going up. And when you get to the top, you're up so high that you could see the Pacific Ocean from up there. And there are lots and lots of wooden sculptures all around. These are only a couple of them, but there were tons of them everywhere over here. A very, very interesting place. Next on my journey, we're gonna head south to the city of Eureka, where we're gonna see Carson Mansion which is a place that I've been wanting to see for many years. So here we are at Carson Mansion in Eureka. 
And then after my short stop in Eureka, I head south to Garberville, where I'm gonna book a hotel and call it a night for day two. So good night. Day three, we're heading to the city of Legit. This is where they have the famous chandelier tree, which is a tree that you can drive through and look how massive this thing is. So here's the truck in front of me about to drive through. I'm next in line. All right, so here I go. And by the way, I'm not holding my phone while I'm driving. The phone is sitting on my dashboard. So here I go through the chandelier tree. All right, that was fun. Next, we're heading to a small town called Duncan's Mills. This place, it looks like something straight out of a fairy tale. It's a very cool town with a lot of little shops to visit. I really enjoyed it. And then next, I'm going to go to Santa Cruz, where I have my hotel booked. And my GPS took me around San Francisco, which I don't mind, because when I passed the Oakland Bridge, that Bay Area water was nasty. It was like sewage water. That water was green. And then I made it to the mystery spot in Santa Cruz. The mystery spot is a place in the mountains that has a weird gravitational force. Just look at all the people standing up straight, but they're leaning. It was very fun, very interesting. And then I decided to call the night on to day four. So day four, I'm heading down to Hearst Castle in San Simeon, but I will see many beaches on the way there. Carmel by the Sea, Big Sur. And there's Lucia and Gorda. All these beaches were very beautiful. And then we made it to my favorite spot on the whole trip, Hearst Castle. This place was absolutely amazing. Everything everyone told me about how amazing this place is was absolutely right. This is definitely one of the places I plan to come back to again. So I went on the upstairs tour. And here's the library. It was just absolutely beautiful. So that was my favorite part of the whole trip. And then after my visit to Hearst Castle, I headed south again to Morro Bay, which is also one of my favorite places. Morro Bay is a little beach town that some people call it the Hawaii of California. And then next, we're gonna head to another favorite town of mine, the city of Solvang, which is a Danish village. Again, this town is covered with windmills and just some magnificent architecture. This is absolutely one of my favorite destinations, especially during Christmas. And speaking of Christmas, <laughs> I stopped by the Yule House in Solvang, which is Christmas 365 days a year. So obviously I loved this place. And finally, after Solvang, I headed south on my way home to Ventura, where my trip will finally end. So here I am at the Ventura Harbor. 
And if you're wondering why there aren't any restaurants in this video, it's because this is literally all I ate the entire time on my trip. Tonight. Oh, literally! Well, everyone, thank you for watching. This was a very long trip, over 1,500 miles. I'm very exhausted after all that driving, but thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a good evening.